is ready for tonight. Touch of gloves and we're off. Big kicks already. Tristan's throwing those wild punches again like last time. First fight of the night, two debut fighters. They're probably not gonna feel each other out too much. These guys are ready to go for it. Big body kicks. Look nice, and you know Tristan's feeling that. Oh yeah. You, can't, you, you can be tough as nails. He's keeping that elbow down already. He doesn't want that kick again. You can't take too many of those in the body. Here we go. Here we go. Good knee. Another big body kick. You can already see the swelling and the redness in the ribs of Tristan. Eddie being out of Southpaw is really winging that kick, and that's what Southpaws do. Stuck up against the cage right now. Needs to do Chris something. going to jab his way out of there and get off, circle off the cage. There he goes. More big body kicks. You got to know that's coming from the southpaw. You can see the look on Tristan's face. That he doesn't like those really. kicks. No, he does not. He's already in pain. He's breathing Taking heavy. Taking some deep breaths. I think his opponent's building his confidence with every kick he throws. I'd love to see Eddie come with a nice little overhand left now. He's got that yeah. elbow low, keeping the hand down. I'd love to see it. He's winging the kick, but his opponent knows the kick is coming. It is landing, but he does know it's coming. If he could set him up with something else. You see he's fainting the kick now? Yep. Oh, a switch kick. Landed flush. He's got to get off that case. Tristan can't take much more of this punishment. The shell is not going to work here. He does. Standing eight. Fights back on. He's gonna go right back to that body kick. Yeah. Ooh, oh, big he head kick. Head. He hasn't really done much. He's not even defending the kicks. Oh. Oh, that's it. That is it. That's a knockdown. First. I think that's gonna be it. Oh, he's back up. Tristan's tough. He needs to keep his hands up. You look in his eyes, though. It's not looking good for Tristan. He's got to snap out of it. One more knockdown, and I think that's over. Oh, saved by the bell. Wow. All right, Jeff, we all saw what happened. Eddie came out strong, lit up that body. What does Tristan got to do to get back in this fight? Tristan needs to defend the rear kick. That's simple as that. What he's landing is the rear kick. Fighting a southpaw, you need to look for the rear kick. It's almost an unfair weapon if you don't know how to defend it. Um, I think the Icebox guys are probably telling him that now. He's not even defending the rear kick. He's more letting it hit him and looking to counter off of that, and he just can't do that. And I thought he did great. Um, he was rear kick, rear kick, rear kick, and then body, body, body. He went straight up to the head, and that head landed flush. And Absolutely. I would like to see when he's throwing those hooks, set him up. He just, Eddie's flinging those hooks wild. If he'd set him up with his kicks, I think he would land. This fight would be over quick. Tristan's got to stay calm, keep the distance. Use his kicks like he talked about, maybe even throw a teep in there to keep that distance. Yeah, absolutely. And be careful because he's keeping that elbow tight because his ribs are hurting. And that's when he went head kicking and landed flush. Both, both guys know about the left kick now. One knows it's coming, one knows it's landing. So it's on Tristan to defend it. It's on Eddie to land it. There we go. Tristan coming out strong. The closer Tristan stays to him, the less that kick is going to land. He's got it. I agree. He's got to keep He's got him stuck face. up against the fence right now. However, this is a tiring way to fight. There's the jumping switch kick again. It's landed both times. Ooh, a spin. Got to be careful Ooh, with the spin. Nice Tristan, I tell you what, you're right. Tristan's got the cardio because he's keeping the And if he can keep the distance close, the, the, the rear kick can't land. Action right in front of us. This is a completely different fight from the first round. Absolutely. You, you nailed it, Jeff. He's still oh, close. Oh, there comes body kick. Again. He's got to do something about it. Ooh, nice body shot there for Tristan. He's probably landing that kick at an 80% rate, and you cannot allow that, especially against the southpaw. Both guys taking deep breaths. You can it's be tough as nails, but your ribs can only take so much. Absolutely. And this fight's going to come down to who wants it more. Both guys are tired. Tristan came out strong, but he may empty the tank. He's a that little way. standing too much in front of him right now. He wants to push the pressure, but that means he's standing right in front of him. He's landing some good shots with some dirty boxing right here. This is where Tristan changes the fight. This is where you get a guy tired. In fact, Tristan is doing very good work right now, but he needs to keep the pressure. Ooh, nice hook. He can't let Eddie keep the distance, or that's going to happen over and over. But Eddie is tired now. Those big body kicks, I said, are big movements. They take a lot of energy, especially a, an early a debut fighter winging those kicks. Oh, man. Tristan, Tristan is tired. Both guys are tired, but Tristan is really showing. His ribs are really showing the damage. Wow. 
Sometimes it takes a second to show the damage. The damage doesn't come right away, but around two or three, you really start to see it. Ooh. That looked like a low blow. That did look like a low blow. But he walked right through it. He did. That's a wrestler for you. He bit down on his Big body kicks, big left hand. Nice. The rear weapons. He's using his jab more of just a pro. Wow, big shots. Both guys. You can see Tristan drops to his knees right after the bell. You know he's feeling it, but like Jeff said, he's a wrestler. He's biting down his mouthpiece. He's fighting through it. So. After that round, it looked a little different. You know, Jeff, you called for the pressure. He gave the pressure. The only thing I would really like to see is when Tristan pressures him, set up the shots. He was just throwing, and a lot of those shots weren't landing. And once he gets into the cage, if he actually goes head, body, head, yeah. switches it up, I think it would be a little bit more effective. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Tristan was landing good, but he's, he's almost doing too much. He's throwing so much, it's hard for something to land. It needs to be a, a change of speed or body, head, as you said, but not just winging punches. But right now, both guys, look at these guys. These guys are tired. This is really going to come down to who trained harder and who wants it more. Yeah. The second round, honestly, could go either way. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Yeah. First round, domination yeah. by Eddie Costello. Sure. Probably a 10 8 round. That second round, I can see it going either way. I totally agree. I can see judges, especially these judges, giving that to Tristan for the forward pressure. So let's see who really, like I said, it's going to come down to who's in better shape. Tristan Again, Tristan out. with the pressure. But can he keep up that oh, pressure? Oh, good knee. Good knee by Tristan. Good knees by Eddie. Ooh. We got that shot in there at the end. We got both them up. And Tristan is tired. He is. Oh, nice deep. And he's got him against the. But he's now. swinging. He's able to defend himself. He's got. I think we had a mouthpiece out. He's just got to be careful because then he's throwing so yeah. wide. If Tristan came with a two right down the yeah. pipe, it would crack hard. Especially against Southpaw, big body kick. Tristan's eating it. Like I said, I'm surprised he's eating as much as he had. Here's where I want to see pressure. Here's where I want to see him set up the shots. That knee is great. And this, this pressure could swing a judge's decision. It's hard to land kicks when you're when you're constantly pressured up against the, the fence. I'm not sure who's winning this round. That one didn't even get oh. through. It's the battle of the rear weapons right now. Oh, good evasion. Miss. Big body kick coming. He almost got it with that inside left kick. This is a tough fight to score. Neither man backing down. Ooh, Ooh. good shots by Tristan up against the good body shot. If he could take, if he could score a knockdown, this might steal the fight. We got a mouthpiece. That's the second time his mouthpiece is dropped. Pay attention to that. Right, that's a good point. Good nice kick, inside good right, right hand. Again, he's, the he's pressure of Tristan is, is is making Eddie fight the fight he doesn't want to fight. Eddie wants to, to stand back and kick. Tristan almost lost his mouthpiece again. Tristan learned from that first round. Yeah, absolutely. And this pressure, I'm telling you, if it's a simple matter of who's hitting who more, Tristan is landing the more shots for sure this round. We gotta talk to Jared. We gotta get Tristan to MMA fight. As much clinching as he's doing. Oh, big body kick. Oh, Tristan's backing Tristan's up. That's tired. not a good sight. He's fighting for it. That's the third time the mouthpiece has gone out. I wonder if, if the ref is thinking about taking a point at this point. You know, this reminds me of a fight from one of your fighters. It was Tristan Mactruck. You know, their opponent kept spitting that mouthpiece out. Yeah, I remember that. I know you do. You were going <laughs> nuts in that corner. I'll never forget that. And that is the fight. Great way to end, to start the night for these guys. Great way to end the fight. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I, that fight can go either way. Yeah, I do I do think Eddie was landing the bigger shots. I think Tristan might have been landing more shots. And so it's going to come down to, as a judge, what do you prefer? Quality or quantity? Guys, make sure to go to B&D Burgers after the fight. Buy these gentlemen both a beer, maybe some chicken wings or a hamburger. They just went out there and pulled a great performance. They deserve it. Absolutely. Neither one of them should be disappointed. I know one's going to be disappointed, but neither really should be disappointed about that performance, especially for a debut. You know, a debut, a, a guy who's only fought once coming in there and going all three rounds and laying it all like, neither guy has anything to be ashamed of. No, I couldn't agree more. They both had a great fight. They both pushed forward. If I had to guess, I would go with Eddie just because yeah. such a dominant first yeah. round and the other two rounds. Yeah. Away. And with the knockdown, that probably makes it a 10-8. Yeah. Which at best, depending on how high score fights, that should be that could be a draw for Tristan. But we shall see what the judges say. We all know how judges' decisions go. We've we seen do. them good, we've seen them bad, and we've seen them super ugly. I have, I have. 
All right, guys, see, it's taking a while to get that judge's scorecard, but we have the announcer coming in the ring. Let's hear what he has to say. You know, if that if that round was a 10-8, as I believe it was scored, really all Tristan can hold.